Still in guys, D chain in the house, and after popular requests, I've been asked to do a video on what supplements I take. And um, unfortunately, no one's requested to see my face again, so you guys aren't going to get to see it today. So, the most important one that I take at the moment creatine. Easily my favorite creatine, the reason being is it's just a nice blend of other creatines. It's an Australian company, so if you guys are from the States, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you guys to get, but if you do, I promise you, it is my favorite. Uh, now, onto the one that a lot of you guys probably want to know about is my pre-workout. Again, coincidentally, it is by Max's. I'm not sponsored by you guys. I don't work with these guys or anything, but I just like their product. Uh, this is probably my, I think this is my second tub. I might what I like about it is the fact that it's Australian one and two, it doesn't contain any of the proprietary blends. Um, being an athlete, you know, I just want to make sure that I know what's going into my body. So, um, I mean, don't just be on pre-workout for your whole life. Don't have it. Don't be dependent on it. It should just be there whenever you need a kick and you don't mind coffee. Now, throughout the rest of the day, I have this stuff. This is Cybertation Extend. Best BCAAs in the world. I've tried a lot of them. Uh, not to name any companies, but everything that's been available to me, that size. Um, I have about two to three scoops a day, um, regardless of what I do, I just finding it helps me train. In terms of regular supplements, so vitamin C, other things I take, fish oil, uh, eight tablets a day, Curcumin, which I've done an Instagram post on in the past. Glucosamine, I just, you'll notice I have a lot of stuff in this brand. It's just good value for me. Um, I don't really care too much about which companies. I do have a couple products which I think companies do differ, but generally I think they're the same thing. Uh, glucosamine once a week, um, particularly after squat day. I just take one tablet post squat day. Um, alpha lipoic acid, currently take this twice a week um, pretty on and off with it don't really uh, not really that structured in terms of when I'm supposed to take it but I know I take post workout so on the big days I will usually take two tablets along with my pre post workout way uh, post workout I have this guy which is just a bag of optimum nutrition way look other things I take is <laughs> it's weird I feel like a pharmacy ZMA um, take that as need so I don't really take it at all just take it to help me sleep when I need to sleep you know, on a day when it's like too hot or blah 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 or I need to recover faster it's supposed to help you recover basically probiotics now this is probably and I probably should have done this video in some sort of order but just to give you a list of everything I take of what I just do today just to make sure that my gut stays healthy you want to make sure that you stay healthy Digestive enzymes. I used to take this a lot more, especially when I was trying to cut weight. Um, I find that this, and what this does is just helps your metabolism. It's supposed to help you metabolize food and all that type of stuff better. This is a vegetarian version of it, if anyone cares. Um, I think there was one more which I wanted to show you guys, but can't find it. There we go. This is the last one. Can you guys guess what it is? Can you guys guess? I want you guys to have a guess. I'm going to stop the video. Just let you guys think. What do you guys reckon? Is it an injectable? No. Is it sniffable? And it is water. Now I have, and a lot of people are going to say, oh yeah, you should have two liters of water a day minimum. No. I have at least five liters of water a day, so there are at least two gallons of water. On average, a training day, I have close to 10 liters a day. It's, if, if you guys aren't having anything, anything close to five or six liters a day, 
you're simply not going to train at your 100%. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys find this useful. If there's any supplements that you think is something that should be added into my list of things that I already take, I already feel like I'm a pharmacy, so you know what, shoot it over, I'll give it a try, I'll let you guys know what I think. Don't tell me to take steroids. God damn it. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe. More good stuff coming soon. I might do a food video next week. What do you guys reckon?